The effort to organize Ohio's farmers began way back in 1912 in Portage County, and within the next few years, farmers in almost every county belonged to a county improvement group or a county farm bureau. On January 27, 1919, during the Farm and Home Week at The Ohio State University, Farm Bureau members from 76 counties came together and officially formed the Ohio Farm Bureau Federation. The charter documents of the new organization said the group would promote an understanding of the responsibilities of the farmer to society and society to the farmer. Murray Lincoln became the first full-time manager of the organization, setting up shop in Columbus's Southern Hotel. From day one, Mr. Lincoln was thinking about alliances, cooperative marketing, and even a finance company. This cooperative structure would play a key role in what this organization has been able to do through the past 90 years. Motorized machinery and automobiles made life easier for farmers, but high insurance rates left them open to liability issues because many were not able to purchase coverage. That's when Farm Bureau stepped in to help. And so they went to the insurance department and asked if uh, State Farm could be licensed in Ohio to write coverages and the insurance department told them, look, we don't need to invite State Farm in. You guys organize your own insurance company and provide the coverages. And they did just that. The Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance Company was born in 1926 and became Nationwide Insurance in 1955. The relationship between Nationwide and Farm Bureau remains and continues to benefit the policyholders. It was pretty obvious that Nationwide and the Ohio Farm Bureau a long tradition of working together and sharing leadership uh, with each other and, and uh, so it's been wonderful to see the relationship develop through the years. It takes something pretty special to be as strong as both Farm Bureau and Nationwide have been all this time. First and foremost, both organizations remain relevant because they're focused on the issues of their members uh, rather than uh, their own internal issues. Working on behalf of the members and growing membership has been Farm Bureau's top priority. From the beginning, its growth depended on farmers talking to other farmers about the organization. Farm Bureau man that came to try to sell us Farm Bureau dues. Uh, when Bert came in the yard, uh, I said, he told me about it. And so he said, uh, I said, well, what, how much is it? And he said, $5. And I said, well, we don't have $5 to spend in Farm Bureau. So he said, well, I think it'd be nice for the children. And I thought, well, that's really looking ahead. So um, I said, well, it's up to you. Well, when he came back, he got ahead the checkbook and he'd written the check for $5. So that's how we got into Farm Bureau. Ohio Farm Bureau has always emphasized its duty to communicate with members over the years. Farm Bureau distributed publications like the Ohio Farm Bureau Federation News and the Buckeye Farm News. Then it moved into broadcasting. In 1945, just after the end of World War II, the Federation put together a committee to study the potential of radio. It was the committee's recommendation to build and license its own broadcasting facility. The People's Broadcasting Corporation was established, and in 1947, WRFD Radio was officially dedicated and began broadcasting. Today, Farm Bureau's radio program, Town Hall Ohio, is broadcast on 12 stations around Ohio. In 2001, Farm Bureau started Our Ohio Communications to help make the connection between consumers and farmers. Our Ohio includes a magazine, a website, and a television series that airs on Ohio's public television stations, reaching nearly 4.3 million households. Ohio Farm and Country started production in 2005 but it's the member involvement and collective action that puts the strongest power behind Ohio Farm Bureau. And we worked on taxes and, and zoning and, and uh, property rights and all those kind of things. And it started in 1919, and the organization has worked on those very same things uh, almost year after year. Ohio Farm Bureau started strong to support farmers, and it's still going strong.